it is rarely the case that the 45 caliber air rifle is the subject of a video, but that is exactly what we have going on today. And a couple of days ago on the Twitch stream, we used it a decent amount on Quattro, and I actually had a really good time hunting Rodier with it. And I got to thinking, Hirschfelden has a number of species we could actually take with it, and I think it'll be a lot of fun to actually use that. So we have that, we have the seven mil for bigger stuff, and just to switch it up a little more, we have the 22 handgun for the small game. And I'm looking forward to kind of seeing what we can manage out here today. We're kind of in that weird time slot right now in Hirschfelden where Fallow are done drinking but Rodier haven't started. So it may just be a female, but I think this might be a good opportunity to test something. So I think Hyperion scope, one dot down should be like a 25 meter drop. That does not appear to be the case though. It might have been about right, because I think it was vertebrae. I just wanted to test that before we try to take some kind of long shot, and it looked okay, but from what I saw on Friday's stream, it should have taken it down quicker than that, so I'm curious to see, maybe it's the Arcascope that works that way. I mean, it was 71 meters, and we nearly shot over it, so it's definitely not what I thought it was. Now that I think of it, of all maps to use like a, a random doe as a test, Hirschfelden is probably the wrong one to do it because it actually has the range, so as we wait for Rodier to go and drink, I may go try to figure that out real quick. I would say that pretty well confirms it. It is the Argus scope that's like 25 meter mil dots, but in kind of messing around with it, I think having the Hyperion is still going to be a good thing. If we put the 150 meter targets up, and then 0 for 100, that first dot down is pretty much dead on. So, we might go for shots like that, that's a lot of times the range that we kind of have shot opportunities at, so we may roll that and just kind of remember it's 50 meters for those mill dots. Well, that's not what I thought we'd be encountering over here. We're kind of like right by the windmills and by this lake here in Petershine where I've hunted quite a lot and never seen a red deer feeding. So that is part of the reason we have the 7 mil today. The air gun is only classes 2 to 4, I believe, so we kind of needed something for Red Deer and Hero Bison, and I think that rack for level 6 Red Deer has a chance of being gold, so that would be nice, but I've never seen one over here. To be fair, a lot has changed since the Rancho update, and we missed gold by about 12 there, go figure. Still a nice little hard shot with the 7 mil, and that's got me wanting to check the spot on my map. In the meantime, I'm thinking that Rodier mating call is probably one leaving a zone heading to their drink zone, so hopefully soon we can go after them by some of the lakes. It may only be a level 2, but that's still really cool and a pretty neat opportunity for the air gun, so I'm thinking we might need to counter press our luck a little bit even to get this shot off, and of course, it's in the worst spot, but I think the fact that it is a 2 is helping us here. It still doesn't even know that we're here kind of starting to notice us, but a little bit too late for that one. So nice that we kind of got to experiment with the Argoscope and know what we're working with. Actually double lung that there at 11 meters, but that was one that I pretty much wanted to hunt Hirschfelden for specifically, and I wasn't so sure we'd get many opportunities. So simply a random morning call and sitting down and calling it in, and we managed to get one just on our way to look for Rodier. I think we lucked out here. I wasn't aware she was that close, but I'm sure it is rather obvious. That is a melanistic Rodier Doe, and I've spent quite some time trying to track her. I wanted to get her spotted so that I could see if her like chest and vitals would be below the hill. We'll go ahead and stand up. It seems as though she's trying to get back this way. Also a female fox over there, but if she'll just give us a broadside shot. I think that should have been through the lungs and giving us whatever score there would be. Interesting way to fall down, and naturally, we shot a melanistic in the shadows, so not the best place for a screenshot. I think we'll probably leave that to the harvest screen. But yeah, tumble lung and everything. Actually, had that been a male, it may have been a gold. It's a pretty heavy uh, female melanistic, but I've got to say, I can't wait for the tracks to get fixed where like the particle effect shows up again, because I just spent a really long time following that, and it just happened to show up there, by the way. I just saw that in chat, someone shot a albino wild boar as well, so 
Evidently this map is producing some rares right now. You know what? I think we can hit that. It's right in that range, actually, if we switch scopes, which probably isn't a bad thing for shooting a small target anyway. It's about, like, 75 meters. No idea if that dropped. I'm guessing it probably did. But using the fact that we know roughly the drop, yeah, we managed to get ourselves a, a bonus fox. And, I mean, we still have yet to find a roadier buck, which was the ultimate goal of coming down here, but a couple of red fox, now including one that we managed to hard shot, and a melanistic roadier doe, I mean, even if there is no buck at this last lake, I think it's been well worth it. I don't love the angle we're kind of working with here, but we finally have a roadier buck, and it's kind of at that range that I wanted to try a shot, so we're going to put the Hyperion back on the air rifle. We're going to zero for 100, and the wind shouldn't be much of a factor here. He was just going to turn, so I don't know if that helped us or hurt us. I mean, we got him good. Hard to say if that actually is vital, because again, the air gun, like we saw with like the Melanistic, when you make a really good shot, it takes the roadier down super quick. And by the way, I guess maybe it doesn't work like that anymore. It used to work to just sort of get knocked out there and then it would spawn you over on the other side. Now we might have to go around, but we'll get there eventually. A little bit more of a run than I expected, but it was a vital hit. I'm really intrigued to see where exactly we hit him. And I wonder if that turn helped us or made it worse, because I felt like we were already kind of aiming at a pretty small area of the lungs, just because of the angle. I mean, if you were to turn further that way, our impact ends up further back in the lungs, but about where we wanted. Definitely not a special roadier by any stretch, at least a 3x3. But nice to get a buck, and nice to see that 150 meter distance being effective with the air gun. Well, that is an interesting find, and one of the nice things, especially with the wind being kind of bad for the direction they're moving, European bison move so slow that you can kind of get moved over and be broadside of them. And what I'd like to do is, when he's not in any kind of weird position there, we just have the 7 mil, but get that shot in there through a lung, I think. He's managed to pretty much get himself stuck, but he's going down, so no reason to risk a shot and potentially like hit a skull or anything like that that is going to ruin the trophy. A 261 to 320 estimate is decent. I want to say Diamond is like 270 or something, so he's got decent odds. I'm not so sure I want to go sprinting in there and try to claim him just yet, because of course there are just a bunch of them running through there that would probably kill us. I think we got away from everything. We've got ourselves a 287.5 Diamond European Bison. I think that's our biggest, actually. I want to say we have a 282. By the way, a two and a half kilometer track distance on just what was a max weight track. I had no idea. But then, anyway, I think it's a 282 and a 279 or something like that. Such a weird position we shot him in. That looks so odd, but... I mean, that's a, a cool little thing to add to the Trophy Lodge out for Hirschfeld. Now that looks just a little bit better. 57 to 68. He's got a smaller one beside him. I actually wouldn't be shocked if it hangs around. We'll see. This is kind of what we did on Quattro. So that's going to be a lung shot. This guy only goes to alert. And I'm guessing we're going to get, yes, yeah, some kind of animation. I don't like frontal with the air gun. So I'm hoping he's maybe going to turn back broadside. We'll see if he'll maybe cooperate and do that. I expect him to eventually... Yeah, he's already going back drinking, so we could probably do it here. And that's going to be an instant drop, so those are probably going to be our last couple of kills. I'd like to go and take a look at our Diamond Bison, but I was hoping at some point during this video we could get the opportunity to kind of show how effective that air gun can be for grinding. And I think any species like roe deer or musk deer, stuff that potentially does kind of travel in groups, it might be the way to go, and I've never really used it for that purpose, but the more that I've kind of used it in the last couple of days, the more that I've been impressed with it. And quite honestly, I didn't look at the score of the last one, I knew it was a silver. This guy did make gold. He was, I think, up to 68, so I figured he had a decent shot at it. Been nice to get a gold as well. Barely got the top of the lung there, it makes sense he was kind of bending down to drink, but we got lucky that we didn't shoot too high. But anyway, like I said, on that note, 
I think we'll head back to the lodge and take a look at our new bison. I like that we're actually getting a bit of variety today as well. So this is our new diamond European bison at 287.5. And this is just an older diamond from November of 2020. And you can see this guy's like a much lighter common variant. And I'm pretty sure the only other European bison we have in this lodge is this one. And he's also that kind of lighter common. And by the way, I was off by the score a bit. 284.6, not 282, but still smaller than our newest one from today. And I like that. I don't even know that I was aware there were like multiple variants, but now we have two and just always, like I talk about it all the time, more variety in the trophy lodge is always a good thing. And yeah, I mean, a diamond and a rare off Hirschfelden, definitely not a bad hunt and getting to add more and more to the trophy lodge. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.